I realize that I'm gonna need a lot more hangers. Clearly, I have bought some things. The more I look at it, the more I'm obsessed. this mirror. This mirror is kind of ugly right now, but don't judge me because I'm gonna DIY, okay? Okay. <laughs> the mirror actually doesn't look that bad right now, but I just think the gold, like, I don't know if you guys can tell, it looks kind of shitty. <laughs> so what I, my plan basically is to buy some gold leafing paint and I wanna paint the gold especially this and just make it look more like the anthropology one because this kind of just looks cheap, which it was. It was only like $200, which is pretty cheap, but I can make it look more expensive. For now, I think I'm gonna leave this off though. And then once I'm ready to paint it, I will attach it. I cannot even explain how happy I am to have a mattress again. It's been too long. Looking back on it all, maybe I can see what was broken. Guys, I've never been so happy to sleep on a mattress on the floor. Oh my god. Like, I'm so happy right now. This feels like luxury. I've been sleeping on a mattress topper folded in two for a good, like, I want to say four or five nights. It's, it's, it's been rough. But I finally have a bed. Ow. Oh, my piercing. I just got this piercing and I keep hitting it and it's so painful. People on TikTok have been telling me that I should sleep with an airplane pillow so that I don't like accidentally hit it. That doesn't really make sense in my head though. I don't understand how that helps. I don't know. It's not making sense in my brain, but I just like, honestly, I'm pretty good at not hitting it. It's just been today. I've been hitting it so much, but anyways, I'm going to sleep amazing in this bed today. I'm actually so excited to fall asleep. It is. 11.47. So I think I am going to go to sleep, but when I wake up in the morning, we're finally getting rid of these goddamn boxes. Oh my God. You gotta go, you gotta go, you gotta go. I think because I wanna film everything, it takes so much longer to do like every step of moving because I can't do it unless I'm filming and I don't always have the energy to film. So it's like, ugh, I procrastinate more and it's just bad. And I need to, I need to actually get rid of these boxes because they're pissing me off. Anyways, I will see you guys in like two seconds, which will be the morning for me. Good morning, guys. It is the next day, which means it's time to clean my closet. If you guys have been following along with my last couple vlogs, then you know about my venomous bug bite that I got in Bali. I actually am going to see a doctor about it today because I think it might be affected. Shout out to my third doctor visit of the month. We definitely don't love to see it. But in the meantime, we're gonna be productive and put away some clothes. progress. There's definitely a lot more to do, but I have to go to my doctor's appointment. So I will see you guys in a second with an update. And I'm back. Guys, I swear when I whipped out this venomous bug bite, my doctor looked at me with fear in his eyes. He was not expecting me to whip this bad boy out, but he did give me a prescription. I know she's looking a little scary, I swear. She like heals a little and then she gets a little scary again and then she heals again. But he gave me this cream, which I guess is an antibiotic and a steroid. So hopefully she does good things. This bug bite is costing me a lot of money. I had to pay $70 for this thing. And then I also got a COVID test in the mail. <laughs> Basically, I'm attending this event tomorrow, which is like a Tatcha skincare event and everyone has to take a COVID test before going. So this is mine. I've never done this to myself before. I've done like at home ones, but I had someone help me. It's gonna be my first time doing it by myself. I thought it'd be kind of fun to do with you guys. I gotta make sure I do it right though. I'm kind of nervous. Let's figure this out. Oh my God, this looks so complicated. 
complicated. I wish I had someone here to help me. When before starting the test, clean the table surface. I literally just cleaned this. Oh my God, that worked out amazingly. Wash your hands thoroughly with soap and just did that. Wait, what do I take out? This? Why is this so complicated? <laughs> okay, insert the extraction tube into the well on the tube stand. I don't have a tube stand. Can I do it without the tube stand? Okay, the tube can just stand, I think. Bro, what? This is probably so sad to watch. Okay, I FaceTime Alex for help because I genuinely just don't know how to do it and she's she's giving me instructions. She's a pro at this point. <laughs> so wait, I put, I'm putting it in my nose right now and then I want to have this ready to dip it in. Yeah, you want to have the purple cap off. Okay, so okay. head back. Yeah, and like you kind of want to go in. Like it's got to tickle Ooh. a little, but like, you know what I mean? It touched my brain. And okay. then whenever you're Oh, this is not on it. <laughs> I dip it in? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And you want to like leave it in there. Okay. And like swirl it around. I feel like a chemist. No, like it's, so, it's kind of fun. I knew you were the right person to call. <laughs> I've never done it without like, like even like these types of like at home tests, like someone's always done it for me. So I put it where it says S, right? Um, add three drops. One, two, three. Now just wait 15 minutes. Yay! Wait, there's one line, one line just showed up. Look, I'm good. And boom, <laughs> we're in the clear, thank God. Anyways, let's go back to cleaning my closet. I realize that I'm gonna need a lot more hangers because there's a lot of empty space there that I wanna use up. This is the biggest closet of the last couple places I've lived with like the most room to hang clothes up. So I ended up just running to the store really quick. I bought three of these and they each have 30. So I bought like 90 hangers total. So I have way more hangers to hang things up. I'm actually so excited to have more room to hang things up. I feel like when I have things in bins and drawers, like you just don't see it the same way. It's way easier to like find things and just put outfits together when you have as much hung up as possible. So this is very exciting for me. I also think to keep the closet from getting too crowded, my really bulky like sweaters, like turtlenecks, knits, things that I know I won't wear anytime soon, I'm gonna put in my den just to store and kind of keep it out of the way because sometimes I get overwhelmed by clothes. I, I don't think I have too many because I like everything I have, but sometimes, you know, when it's out of season, you just don't need it in like your main closet. Like I don't need access to them right now. So that is my plan. I also want to hang up like my most worn tank tops because you guys can probably see that little basket right there in the back is stuffed with tank tops and I wear like tank tops a lot, but I don't know, I just never have hung them up. So I kind of, I kind of want to do that. Honestly, 90 hangers might not even be enough because I kind of want to hang up my sweatsuits as well. I was watching actually a TikTok the other day of Madison Beer's closet organizer talking about how she organized Madison's closet. And she talked about how she hung up all of her hoodies and everything. And I was like, I kind of want to do that. Like hanging up is just the best way to store things. So I want to hang up as much as I have room for. Hangers are just so expensive. Like this is $60 worth of hangers. How do they cost that much? Maybe I can find a bunch on Facebook Marketplace or something because my hanger bills, they are stacking up. I think at my last Airbnb, I bought probably around 90 hangers as well. And boom. I feel like boom is becoming my catchphrase. I say it so much. I decided that while I hang these things up, I'm gonna watch the finale of Stranger Things. I'm on the very last episode right now. Okay, I have an hour left. Let's do it. <laughs> I'm gonna try not to cry anymore and organize my closet. <sighs> okay. 
Okay, I've made quite a bit of progress. We have a lot of clothes on the hangers ready to be hung up, but I'm realizing I'm gonna have to move this around because like you can't just slide it. It has like these dividers. So it's gonna be a little bit of work to color coordinate everything and have it, you know, everything in the right spot, but we're gonna do it. This closet doesn't have a door. So whenever someone walks in, they're going to see whatever I have immediately here. So I think I kind of want to keep my whites and browns like more neutral colors here just because if I had like my crazy colors I feel like your eyes would directly go to the closet when you walk in so I want to keep the neutrals here and then I'll put the colors and maybe the blacks more in this corner where you can't really see it as much. because I feel like the background will be cuter once I have all my furniture than if it was over there. You'd get more of like the wall, but here you get like the cute living room background, you know? So I'm going to attempt to put this up. I'm a little scared because this chair is kind of broken. <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna try not to die. We're gonna try and make it not crooked. And hopefully 
if it looks good without a frame. Like I might end up having to buy a frame, but we're just we're just gonna see because this would save me money. Frames are kind of expensive. Oh, I'm so scared of this chair. <laughs> I have nothing else. I don't even. Oh my god, how am I gonna fall? Ah, oh my god, this chair is scary. <laughs> okay, no, this is not gonna work. This chair, this chair cannot be trusted. What else do I have? This might be better. Okay, I'm scared now. Why is this wall so goddamn hard? I can't get the tap in. There we go. Okay, one in. I feel like that's straight. I'm realizing that this might be too big. I think it's fine. It's just, it is very big. Okay, what do we think? Okay, I think it's cute. I like it. I actually think a frame would make it too big. Just to help everyone envision it, so this is going to be on top of the mirror, which will add a little bit of height. But I'm wondering if I should actually hang this on the wall, because I just feel like this looks a little short compared to, that is just so big that I feel like the mirror would look better being like up a little bit higher and then this obviously adds height. But let me know what you guys think. Do, should I hang it up? I kind of feel like, I feel like I should. I really like it. I think I really like it. And then I'm gonna add like tequila bottles. Like I'm going to an 818 event and I wanna see if I can get some bottles to like decorate this with. It's gonna be like a bar cart kind of vibe with this and then the mirror. I think I like it. <laughs> Actually, the more I look at it, the more I'm obsessed. Give me like two to three weeks, I'm gonna have the cutest apartment you've ever seen. I am so happy. <laughs> Honestly, if YouTube doesn't work out, I should just be an interior decorator. Like, I love this shit. Like, this stuff makes me so happy. I wanna explain, I have such a specific vision for this apartment. I kinda wanna give you guys a rundown of everything that you can expect to see me do in the next little bit. So, for the office area, I wanna add two either black or brown floating shelves. Let me know what you would think would be best. So I could do black to match the desk, or I could do something that would kind of match the flooring and bring that up. I think that would look really good. We have a pink couch going right here, a white and pink carpet. The pink's like decently subtle, it's not too much. These chairs are getting a makeover. They're going to be white, fluffy teddy bear chairs. This lamp is going to be moved over here. Our TV is gonna be hung up soon. I just have some wallpaper that I'm gonna put up here. So this is gonna be like an accent well, nothing too crazy, but just like a nice, very tasteful accent wall. And then we'll hang the TV up. We'll have the white fluffy chairs with the pink pillows. I also just got this, which I'm obsessed with. I have yet to decide what to do with the dining area because obviously there's no island and I don't have like a formal dining table. I kind of want to get the living room done and then I'll decide what needs to be done here. The living room's my priority, so I need to visualize that first. <laughs> okay, the closet is finally done. So I'm gonna show you guys. Obviously this mirror is new. She might be slightly crooked, but honestly this was my fifth attempt. I'm just like, I'll deal with that later. This I bought from HomeSense. For the actual closet, the way I decided to organize things was all of my long sleeve shirts and t-shirts are organized by color. Then I have dresses and rompers organized by color. Then I have hoodies and crew necks organized by color. And I have tank tops organized by color. In the past, I've just done like everything organized by color. Just had like my dresses, tops, like hoodies all mixed in together. But after watching Madison Beer's closet organizer, I decided to separate things. And I'm actually really, really happy that I did. Up here we have jeans, leather pants, just like other types of pants, skirts and shorts down there. And at the very end is like, my yoga pants and leggings. Up here we have sweatpants and pajamas. I might end up getting a third basket if I need more storage because there is definitely some room up there. I also put together this Alex drawer set from Ikea the other night. It took me so long to build it that I watched the entire first season of the summer I turned pretty. That's so embarrassing. Down here I have my two very disorganized baskets. One is just swimsuits and the other is tank tops. But I think I wanna get another one of these for my swimsuits. This is how she looks for now though. Obviously that is a huge improvement from where we started. I might get a couple more storage things here and there, but for the most part, it's really gonna stay the same. And I feel really good about not having my clothes scattered all over the apartment. Things are starting to come together, which makes me excited. I think within the next week and a half to two weeks, I wanna have the bedroom completely done and I wanna have the living room completely done. Those are my main priorities. And then once that's done, I'll maybe work on my beauty room slash the, the den 
of want to turn into some type of closet beauty room, but I'm going to figure that out later for now. I just want to get the main areas sorted and I'm really excited about it. I feel like everything is coming together and furniture pieces are starting to arrive. And I know I've been very financially responsible with what I've been getting. Like I, I haven't gone crazy, but everything is still very me and very my style, which is exciting. And I have some DIY projects that I want to do, which is also fun. So yeah, I'm really excited about this moving series. I think the next one is going to be a bathroom organization vlog. So stay tuned for that. I love you guys. Thanks for coming on this journey with me and I will see you guys in a brand new video very soon. Bye.